Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis of Drone Camps RC, and I'm here to bring you the latest DJI Neo news. It seems that just two hours ago, we have fresh information about some new things that you might not have known about the DJI Neo uh, from one of our favorite leakers on Twitter, uh, otherwise known as X, Jasper Ellens, X27 here, is saying that uh, just recently, again, two hours ago, first thoughts on the Russian specs. It looks like they released some specs over somewhere in a Russia, uh, Russian website, and it says that good, the DJI Neo will fly FPV. We did know that Goggles 3, Motion 3, FPV Controller 3, again, that is confirmed for uh, another time, which we know the new RCN uh, 3 remote sucks, uh, could mean you can't use your 04 RC2. So, eh. Top speed of 57 kilometers is nice, he's saying, and an internal storage of 22 gigabytes. Uh, that is pretty good. Internal storage of 22 gigabyte, I'm down with that. Also, uh, no SD card support, but there is no proof for that just yet. Uh, looking at the specs a little bit closer here, if we just kind of zoom in on this, it does appear to have an FCC range of 10 kilometers. So with FPV support, and uh, goggles 3 support, possibly the new FPV LCD panel goggles that we have coming out maybe for the DJI Neo. It's looking more and more like a miniature Avada, uh, Avada 2 Mini. All the time it's looking more and more like an Avada 2 Mini. So that, that's great FPV support and now a 10 kilometer range, a CE range of around six kilometers. And up at the very top of the screen, we see that the DJI RC N3 remote control up to 180p at 30 frames per second with DJI Goggles 3 Plus, the RC motion controller, and the DJI FPV remote control 3 up to 180 at 60 frames per second. So if you do have the DJI Goggles 3, it looks like you're going to be able to get a more real-time view. 30, 30 frames per second is it's not too bad, uh, but 1080p FPV at 60 frames per second would be outstanding. A little further information on the image sensor, it seems that it does have a half-inch image sensor with a field of view of 117.6 degrees, equivalent to a 14 millimeter aperture f2.8 focus at 1.0.6. Uh, to infinity, so not bad. The ISO range 100 to 6400 uh, on automatic and 100 to 6400 in manual, as well as video shutter speed at 1 8,000th of a second to 1 30th and photo at 1 8,000th to 1 10th of a second. Maximum image size for photo stills is looking like 12 megapixel, which is great at a resolution of 16 by 9 at 4,000 by 2256. And the maximum video bitrate looks like 75 megabits per second. And I'm seeing some different types of modes here on the screen. Cinema mode, normal mode, and the sports mode, very similar to our DJI Avada 2. Maximum speed modes for the DJI Neo are looking like 6 meters per second in normal mode, and in 8 meters per second in sport mode, 16 meters per second in manual mode. So it looks like we are going to get full FPV manual mode available for this little guy. So if we're getting an 18 minute flight time, DJI really is trying to corner the market on these smaller micro whoops, uh, otherwise known in the FPV community as tiny whoops. And we're also seeing that yes, the prop guards are removable and replaceable, so I'm excited about that. I'll be able to fly it more like a tiny whoop without the prop guards on there. And those prop guards will be about $15 to replace them. And here we see an image of the propeller itself. It looks like it's gonna have two M2 size bolts that will go straight through the top down into the motor. And he's saying that they look like the low noise propellers by Master Air Screw designed for the original Avada. Uh, these props are definitely thick. They do have a wide cord with a bull nose tip. So a lot of great updates and information coming out more and more on the DJI Neo. So stay tuned on the channel and click the subscribe button for more DJI news, reviews, and drone tutorials right here on the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis. Take care and I will see you on the next one. Happy FPV.